My name is Amy Lorschtag. I am the Student Success Advisor for Building Bridges to Success here at Galveston College. Um, we are a TRIO Student Support Services funded program. We are funded by the federal government to um, service first generation low income students. Our goal is to help retain those students, to help them graduate with their associate's degree, and to help them to transfer to four year universities. Um, so I get to see firsthand on a daily basis the students who are becoming the first in their family to go to college to establish um, a steady career so that they're able to provide for them for their families and do better for themselves and for many of them their children as well. I graduated from Ball High in 2006. I actually graduated a year early. I did dual credit classes. Um, I took some classes at the high school and then I also had the opportunity over the summer before my senior year to take government and economics on campus um, through the dual credit program as well. I think um, my most impressive experience was with um, my calculus teacher, Mr. Remar. We had the opportunity to um, dual enroll or take the AP exam, and some of us did both. And I think, myself included, maybe 13 or 14 of us scored fives on it, which was the highest um, score possible. And that's really unheard of, so I think that kind of goes to show what type of teacher or teachers we have teaching our dual credit students um, to have such high success rates. And so that gave me the opportunity to be able to go to a four-year university um, as soon as I graduated and not have to worry about taking some of the core classes like English, history, government. I already had those out of the way so I could focus on the classes for my degree plan. a and Galveston said I should start in Calculus three my freshman year. The problem is, is that they offered one Calculus three class and one Chemistry for Engineers class. They were on the same days at the same time. So my faculty advisor at A&M asked um, if I was a Ball High graduate, and I told him yes, and he said, well, doesn't that mean you should um, qualify for the Universal Access Scholarship? And I said, yes, sir, that does. And he said, well, I have an idea. Over the summer, go back to Galveston College, use your Universal Access Scholarship, and take Chemistry 1 and 2, and we'll substitute that as Chemistry for Engineers for you. And so that allowed me to come back here and not have to worry about the financial obligation of paying for the classes because um, I didn't receive Pell Grant. Um, I was dependent on outside um, money such in scholarships such as the Universal Access Scholarship. I think what's unique about it is that there are many resources available to students who come from um, around the poverty level, but for middle class students who are really just making it, they're expected to have the extra money to be able to pay for the education and they don't. And so they're putting themselves in debt doing student loans because so many scholarships are need based and by our definition, they don't have need, but they do. They have children, they have homes they're trying to pay for, cars they're trying to pay for, childcare they're trying to pay for, and their income cuts them out of being able to receive the extra assistance that they really do need. Um, as a recent graduate from A&M, I tutored math, and the student advisor from Building Bridges um, moved and went to a different job and that position became available and so I applied for that and got it and so I was working as the student advisor and then one day um, Jesse Warren who's in charge of the math department here came by and saw me tutoring calculus 3 and he was like are you doing like how are you helping with Cal 3 and I was like oh I have an engineering background he was like well you should teach here and I was like well I don't have my master's degree so I can't teach math and he said, well, you can teach our developmental math. And so he took me up to speak with Bev Gamble, who was over developmental um, classes at the time. And she gave me a shot. And I've been teaching developmental math here since. In the next five years, um, I should be graduating with my master's degree next May. Um, and then I plan to apply for the director position in my program whenever my boss does retire. Um, and after that, I plan to eventually further my education um, and get a PhD or EDD because um, eventually I do want to be an administrator. I think as long as we continue to reach out to donors and show them the importance of it, the way students' lives are changed, the way that 
I think myself and Megan are examples of Universal Access recipients who are giving back to the community and reinvesting in the students at Galveston College. I think it shows that it goes full circle um, when those students are afforded that opportunity. And I think that as long as donors know that it is money well spent, that you are investing in the future of students, but also people who may be the future mayor of Galveston. I think it's, it's, a, it's very important, and I think that just keeping them continually in the loop of these are our success stories, you help the student accomplish this by your donation. I think if you care about the island and you care about its future and you care about the future generations and the economic status that Galveston is in, I think if you care about it continuing to be better and not start tapering off that giving back to this program to allow students the opportunity so that they can reinvest back into the community is important.